Hello guys, welcome to this new course. In this lesson, we will be studying about branches of biology. So what I have tried here to do is, I will be uh, mentioning the names of branches of biology, then I will be giving you the des uh, description of them. So I have tried to sum, sum up all the branches of biology alphabetically. So I will be making uh, three lessons on this topic. Okay. So in this lesson, we will be studying about uh, branches of biology from alphabet A to alphabet E. So uh, by this way, you will be able to uh, learn them in a very interesting and sophisticated manner. Okay, so this course is presented by me, Navneet. You can know more about me from here. You can follow me on this link. And if you like the lesson, kindly rate, review and recommend. Uh, beginning with the lesson, we have first branch of biology is anatomy. It is a branch of biology which deals with the study of internal structure of an organism as revealed by dissection. Okay, internal structure of an organism. Next is orthrology. It is the study of joints. Agriology. It is the study of customs of primitive man. Okay. Ephidology. It is the study of aphids. That is plant lice. Okay. Aphids are the plant lices. Uh, aerobiology. Uh, it is the study of flying organisms in relation with the other flying ob objects. Okay. It is clear from the name itself. Aero and biology. Aerial biology. Okay. Agronomy. Uh, the management of farms and the science of crop production is called as agronomy. Anthropology, uh, the science of man and mankind, including his physical and mental constitution, cultural development and social conditions of present and past is called as anthropology. Okay, it is a very big branch of uh, science. Okay, uh, anthology, it is the study of flowers. Next we have agrostology. It is the study of grasses, okay, agro, uh, agriculture related, okay, stology means the study. So the study of grasses is called as agrostology. Next we have acrology, the study of tick, uh, ticks and mites is called as acrology. The next is aerobiology, the study of airborne organisms and structures such as pores, etc. and their distribution. Next is agriology. It is the comparative study of tribal customs. Okay, it is a different one. The comparative study of tribal customs. Next, we have agrobiology. It is the quanti uh, quantitative science of plant life and plant nutrition. Okay. Next one is agrology. It is the soil science dealing with production of crops. Okay. Andrology. It is the study of male reproductive organs. Okay. Uh, androgens. Like the, that is okay. You can relate it to them. Next, we have arneology. Uh, it is the study of spiders. Okay. Next, we have arboriculture. The cultivation of trees and shrubs is called as arboriculture. Uh, agriculture. It deals with the cultivation of crops and the improved methods of farming. Okay. There is a difference between arboriculture and agriculture. Uh, the cultivation of trees and shrubs is the arboriculture and agriculture is it, it deals with the cultivation of crops and improvement methods of farming okay it is related completely with the farming itself next we have actinobiology uh, the study of radiation effect on living organisms it is called as actinobiology next we have angiology it is the study of blood vessels then we have bioinformatics it is the branch of science concerned with the development and application of computing system and technology in order to make novel observation about biological pro process okay so it, it is a combination of computing and technology uh, technological systems and the biological processes okay next we have biotechnology it is the controlled use of biological agents such as microorganisms or cellular components for beneficial use okay for the uh, for the human use of mankind okay uh, moving forward we have breeding biology breeding is the art and science of changing and improving the heredity of plants and animals okay so that they can be used for beneficial purposes of humans okay next we have biochemistry it is name clear from the name itself it is the study of chemical aspects of living organisms some uh, as biochemistry okay it is made up of two terms bio and chemistry then we have bacteriology clear from the name itself study of bacteria then we have batrachology it is the study of frog okay uh, then we have biosematology 
it is the study of climatic effects on biological processes and organisms biometrology the study of effects of atmospheric changes on living organisms is termed as biometrology then we have bionics it is the study of problem solving by humans animals and its technical application uh, again we have bacteriology it is a study of bacteria then we have bryology it is the study of bryophytes uh, computational biology the systematic development application and validation of computational hardware solution for building simulation methods of biological systems okay uh, cytology it deals with the study and structure of functions of cell okay cytoplasm okay cytology uh, it is the study of structure and functions of cell cell biology the study of structure functions reproduction energy dy uh, dynamics transport mechanism and life history of a cell is called as cell biology okay then we have cryobiology it is the study of effect of low temperature on living organisms uh, next we have chirology it deals with this communication system with deaf and mute by sign languages chromatology it is the study of pigments okay chromatophores are, are the pigments so it is the study of chromatophores or pigments next we have tetology it is the study of acquired characters of organisms uh, chromatology it is the science of colors okay chronobiology it is the study of uh, biology of cyclic physiological phenomena okay cosmology it is the uh, science of structure and evolution of universe cosmos is the universe okay uh, the study of cosmos or universe it is the uh, called as cosmology then we have nidology clear from the name itself study of uh, cell and traits or nidarians characteristics then we have conchology the study of shells chondrology it is the study of cartilage okay uh, craniology it is the study of skull or cranium cardiology it is the study of heart okay cardiovascular system next we have diastelology it is the study of appearance of vestigial organs due to evolution dendrology it is the study of shrubs and trees developmental biology it deals with the study of processes by which organisms undergo progressive and orderly changes in structure as well as physiology during their entire life cycle then we have dermatology it is the study of skin okay dermis dermis okay uh, developmental morphology it deals with the developmental aspects of plants desmology it is the study of structures and anatomy of ligaments okay evolution it is the branch of biology which deals with the study of descent uh, descent of present day complex living organisms including plants and animals from the living forms of the past okay or the primitive living forms embryology it deals with the study of stages of organism that occur immediately after fertilization that is the after formation of embryo uh, ecology it is the study of interrelationship between living organisms and their environment ethology it is the study of animal behavior and conditions of animals eugenics it is the science dealing with the improvement of human race through application of laws of heredity next we have entomology it is the study of insects then we have exobiology the study of kind of life that may exist in outer spaces called as exobiology okay in the exosphere etiology it is the study of causes of diseases okay so i hope you like the lesson i'll be adding uh, more lessons in the same context so keep updates thank you for watching